CatRackCoach.com, the best of Cataract Coach course from the ASRS in Boston 2024. Okay, da 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 Okay, here we go. by the bell. All right, so what are you doing in this case? Watch carefully. So we go in here, look at the pressure. Look, look, Ooh. bouncy, bouncy. What do we do here? You got to decompress. Needle decompression, yes. okay. Yes. So more viscoelastic. I, I will listen to you. But the other thing you have to do is what I call verbal anesthesia. Okay, wait, wait, let me do this. So you said needle decompression. Yes. yes. What about Zepta? What about Femta? What about Buzzle Capital Faker Pro? What about do your regular X's? No, you've got a needle decompress. Okay, okay. <laughs> is the verbal anesthesia to calm me down? It's, 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 to, it's to calm the patient down because I had a case where as I was decompressing, she coughed. Uh -oh. So you have to, and then I had a nice Argentinian flag sign. Um, you have to talk to the patients. They were doing a really important part of the case. I just want you to relax, no coughing, no moving at this point in time as you're decompressing and as you start your rexus so that they don't move. So you need patient cooperation during the case because if at any point in time they move or cough or pressure goes up in the eye, bam, you're done. Doesn't matter right. what you do. That's super important. Would you do any of these other techniques besides needle decompression? Zepto, Femto, Buzzle Capsule Faker Probe? Femto is hard with a white cataract because you need to really increase your power if you're going to. Yeah. And you've got to make sure you get through that capsule. I agree with you. Oftentimes I don't like the Femto because as I start to do it, the liquefied lens cortex comes out, it blocks the laser light, and you don't yeah. get a totally incomplete capsule. That's right. That's right. I think Zepto tended to work well. We're going to find out. That's a good question. He says, do you do can opener? Well, we're going to first do needle decompression. Okay, watch, Rosa. We're going to listen to you. Here's the needle. AC is full of viscoelastic, highly pressurized. I'm going to poke in. Okay, oh. thank you. Aye, See aye, what I get aye. for listening to you? This is what I get for listening. Oh, my gosh. This is what we get. Uh, thanks. I feel good. Here you go. One quarter speed, just so you can live the pain again. Pow! Oh, wow. Pow, right there. You told me to do it. <laughs> you didn't do it right. <laughs> oh. Woo. You guys are tough. So, so you have to over inflate. What wasn't done here? I know this isn't you operating. No, it was very highly inflated. The was it not? It wasn't. It was, it was, it was no. not. It was. You, what, no, what, it wasn't. What did you use? To, I use like a, something like a super uh, viscous type of agent, like a Helon 5 type of thing in those I cases. I promise the AC pressure was like 50. No. Yes, I promise. <laughs> Professor Baye. Needle decompression, but this is not working. You have to go through the keratosynthesis with the needle, not create a paratosynthesis and then put the needle. So he's saying, no. he says, don't, don't oh, put, he says, just poke nice. in with the needle and make the para as you inject the needle. Don't, don't make a knife para. Don't Blanco from Buenos Aires Colors thing. You go straight in with the needle. Okay, I will keep that in mind. Good tip. But here, okay, here's another one. What are you going to do for the second eye now? Needle decompression the way Dr. Bias is. We're going to, now what do you want to do for the second eye? Same patient, second eye. And the AC was very highly pressurized, I promise. <laughs> Ada's going to hate, right? In, in your hands, I'd probably go and use a Zepto now. Okay. Well, what, okay, what if you don't have it? What if you have a clinic, you don't have any of the fancy toys? How about D? How about buzzing the caps of the Faker probe? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Why do you mean, oh, no? That works. Fakorexis. I described it, uh, actually we described a vitriorexis. We, we couldn't get through because the capsule was so dense and we used a, a vitreous probe to cut. A vitrector. A, a vitrector. A vitrector wow. to cut because it was so dense from uh, u chronic uveitis. But I've never done it with the phaco probe. Really? Let me yeah. tell you. <laughs> you, might be, you might be experienced because you get the posterior capsule. So, no, oh, don't say that here. <laughs> so look, on, on single burst mode, just one burst. I can't believe you did this. We're going to go in here and we're just going to make... What are you doing Oh, here? just a little bit of a, a lighter syndrome there, reverse pupillary blocks. I'm just kind of lifting up the iris to, there you go, to treat that lighters. So we're going to go in, bevel down, just one little burst of energy. Just Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, you God. God damn it. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. We're going to get a profanity strike on this channel. Um. God. Can some
someone get the AED kit? <laughs> so now we've decompressed it, and now we'll just get a little baby rexus done here, and then now we'll do a double rexus technique here. So okay. there's a beautiful looking rexus. So there's a saying, better to be lucky than good. Yes, exactly. Um, <laughs> you got totally okay, lucky there. Okay, there you go. Nah! Yeah. If you if you if you if you would subscribe to my videos, you'd see I actually did another case like this just two weeks ago. <laughs> okay. So here's the eye probe going in there. Just like this is butter soft. There's no no nucleus here. And so now we can just clean out all the lens material. Then we'll put the lens in the bag. Then we can expand the rexes, make it pretty. Why did you do the rexes so small? I just want to get it done. I don't want to, as I'm decompressing this. I just want to have this is the double rexes technique, right? So I do it one rexes decompress, in fact, this case I said forget decompress, I just remove the whole lens, yeah. clean everything out here, and then at the end, when I get the lens in the bag, or the resin gets the lens in the bag, we'll go ahead and expand the rexus, just, you know, re-tear it to the exact size you want. And notice you're using the IA probe to remove this lens. Yeah, not so right? dense. Yeah, not so dense, but, but more controlled. Right, so I buzzed in with the FACO probe, and then immediately switched to the yeah, IA probe. Yeah, that's a really interesting method. You didn't think I was going to give you easy cases in there, did you? <laughs> so, no, yeah, this is going to be removed pretty easily here. And you can see at the end, we'll get the lens in. But I, I've done this, this has been described in the literature. Faco puncture with, is not a new technique. It has been described by yeah. many other surgeons in the past. It is something that I think actually does work. But yeah, if you, listen, I'd rather do a Zepto if I have that device. Let's do it. So here it is in the bag. Now just we can expand the rexus, so I'm just kind of telling them where to cut, cut right, you know, there somewhere. And then we're going to just expand, there you go, get a cut there on the rexus edge, and then you can expand it and make the rexus size that you want. And then you're done, and this patient has a beautiful outcome. But even in the first case, we have cases where I showed you on Cataract Coach, if you have a white cataract with an Argentinian flag sign, and it's, how can you finish the case? We have all those videos already in Cataract Coach, so we don't... Go ahead. So the one thing when you're depressurizing the, the lens with a needle, you really want that anterior chamber super full so nothing can egress if right. you do have a para. And the other thing is you want to push down, push the lens down as you're aspirating right. so that you, you actually get the force to be posterior so it doesn't come up and cause the Argentinian flag. And For sure. the other thing is in that needle, what I like to have is not an air to fluid interface. So I always have my nurses fill the needle with about half yep. a cc of BSS yep. and I squirt it through a little bit and then because if and, and, Fluid to fluid interface is a much smoother transition yep. sure. versus a fluid to air interface. So you oh, don't for get sure. Yeah. Any audience input? What gauge needle are you using? What gauge needle to decompress? Professor, just tell me. I'll, I'll say it out loud. Okay, 27. 27 gauge. Oh, oh, oh. Here, there is an important physical principle. The reason you get the pop in the Argentinian flag is because the pressure inside the bag is higher and the pressure in your anterior. Right. Chamber. It's because he didn't put enough physical so elastic. If you put more physical elastic, you're only creating more pressure. And you're more likely to pop it. That's the reason you go in with a 30 gauge needle. 30 gauge for him. 30 gauge. Sorry, Professor. Professor.